This is a little bit of a taste of the Father Hennepin Bluffs Park. This park and nature area is in the central part of Minneapolis. It is established right next to the Mississippi River along a couple different channels of the uh, creeks and uh, streams that uh, wiggle their way through the central part of the city. The Father Hennepin Bluffs Park is a very historic part of the city. This neighborhood actually is where if you could see right behind me, actually you might be able to see a tower up there, um, is a historic part of the milling industry and of the uh, historic uh, milling uh, factories, um, plants, and everything that was built along the Mississippi River when the settlers from the East Coast uh, came to the Twin Cities and obviously settled in St. Paul and settled in Minneapolis. So this area is very prominent in the history of Minneapolis. Uh, with a lot of changes obviously in milling uh, in, in industrial along the river um, what we're seeing is urbanization of this entire area and, and what I mean by that is a whole new wave of use for what is going on in this neighborhood and in this vicinity this vicinity obviously used to be home to industry it's now home to over 40,000 residents and it continues to increase. This population is growing and growing and although it's good for the economy and good for Minneapolis and St. Paul, um, it's actually not so good for some of the nature areas that we see like this. It's a beautiful, obviously great nature area. Uh, it has a lot of different factors and a lot of different unique aspects to it that make it um, so special and that's why a lot of people love coming down to this park area including me because I live in this area and they love coming to see what this nature area has to offer but also with that it doesn't mean that everything that happens down here is always good a lot of what's happening right now and I'll address it in this brief video is pollution now the urbanization might be good for our economy but it's not good for nature areas here in the city now this area has been obviously used by industry, by individuals since the late 1800s, actually, I believe about 1896, um, was, when a first, was when the first couple of settlers made their way um, and established um, places here over in uh, the St. Anthony Main District that we know of today. That's meant that people have been in this area for a long time, but not this amount of people. Obviously downtown on the western side, or on the opposite side of the bank that I'm speaking on, and now the St. Anthony Main District and the university on this side that I'm facing um, has brought in a lot of people. These people are coming into this area and they are using it, but they're not using it for good things. Pollution has increased. The amount of safety calls and reports into this area has increased by 20%. Uh, since the mid 20th century now that's not on par with necessarily the population growth but it is on par with uh, calls into this area you'll see that this uh, nature area actually feeds into the Mississippi River in the back so that is Stone Arch Bridge um, I believe that is the River Tower River Heights Apartments um, over on the West Bank part of campus anyway this part of uh, the nature area feeds into the Mississippi River. Now, people come over here all the time to relax, to check out nature, but they're also doing a lot of different things that are affecting uh, this area. And that includes, if you can see, a lot of pollution. People are coming down here, they are polluting, um, they are starting bonfires. You might be able to see in the back, um, people are actually putting graffiti on trees. Um, just a lot of really bad things are happening in this area and it's very concerning. It's concerning because in this urban area we are trying our best to although attract people to come to Minneapolis and live here and go to school here uh, like myself, we're also trying to protect the sanctity of these natural areas that we see as unique and great for Minneapolis. It's what sets our communities apart. What I'm hoping to do over the next year and a half as a continued resident of the Marcy Homes area is work with the Neighborhood Association to combat some of this pollution and some of the abuse that we're seeing down in the Father Hennepin nature area. 
um, area. That includes obviously better security monitoring, working with uh, the city council to protect this area um, from any additional development that could potentially harm or secondarily harm uh, this unique and beautiful area. Now in Minneapolis's 2020 vision, they do call for a little bit of refurbishing and restruction, reconstruction of the areas just on the outside of this, um, on the edge of Stone Arch Bridge, and then also on the edge of Stone Arch Bridge on the downtown side. Um, and that's gonna bring more people here. That is going to make this even more of a tourist destination than it already is. But it's gonna require a quick response from individuals who care a lot about this area and wanna protect it like myself. I come down here, I frequent this area all the time, but I also understand that there are people that don't just come down here for walks, don't just come down here to check out the nature. There are people that come down here to smoke, throw their cigarette butts in the water. People that come down here to um, put graffiti all on trees and just on so many different things that harm this area. Statistics show that as this area's uh, residential population increases, by another 20,000 here in the next 20 years. Um, it's gonna bring a lot of people here. And what isn't proactive about the current policy uh, instituted by Minneapolis um, and its parks board is that there's not enough protection, there's not enough focus on making sure that this area stays uh, sacred, I guess, to uh, the St. Anthony main area. There is a lot of work to be done. Um, and there are a lot of people that are benefited by the beauty and benefited by uh, the uniqueness of this nature area, but also what we need to do as neighbors to the Marcy Home District and neighbors to Father Hennepin Bluffs Park is make sure that we as residents are down here protecting, cleaning up graffiti, cleaning up any litter, and being proactive about making sure that people are uh, keeping this area nice, clean, and safe for our drinking water that we get from the Mississippi River or the water we use uh, from the Mississippi River uh, that keep this area safe from cigarette butts that could easily spark and light fires uh, to this amazing area. Um, that's why I am so thrilled to live by uh, this area, but I'm even more thrilled to be a part of the Neighborhood Association and community in making sure that we continue to protect uh, the Father Hennepin Bluffs nature area, um, especially this summer as more people are going to come use it because there are more people in this area um, that are living here and that have family or friends that live here. So um, that is just a brief overview of the importance of protecting this area, not only for um, human use, but for our environment uh, to make sure it's clean friendly, pollutant-free, and that we can continue to have a um, positive ecosystem here in the central part of Minneapolis.